paraphrase the famous quote from the movie, there's two kinds of people in this world. Those who care about market performance and those with absolute return strategies. The main concept behind absolute return strategies is to offer attractive returns regardless of market direction, mostly through a combination of long and short positions. Market is not supposed to be the main driver of these strategies. Absolute return strategies are driven by the fund manager's ability to select potential outperformers for long positions and potential underperformers for short positions in order to mitigate market movements. Over the past few years, we have seen a huge growth in classic absolute return strategies, such as factor investing, driven by wider acceptance of how these strategies work. And this growing popularity with, brought with it a drawback, however. A large number of absolute return funds grew and adopted similar positioning, including the very large quantitative funds. It created significant dependence between investors utilizing the same strategy and caused a systematic risk for absolute return strategy. This risk will eventually materialize with a more volatile environment because when market volatility becomes a concern. Fund managers typically would exit some of their positions to reduce the exposure of, the, of their portfolio. As the result, when volatility within absolute return portfolio had picked up quite significantly with the COVID-19 crisis, it triggered a huge wave of disposal of long positions and buyback of short positions by absolute return funds. The prices of stocks in long position dropped further as the same stock were dumped, while stocks in short positions performed better, held by the sizable buybacks of the cutting trades. Very quickly, this similar portfolio reached stop losses and triggered new massive positions cutting with dramatic effect for fund performance. And this chain reaction ended up costing this portfolio a lot of money. Not quite. Some funds delivered positive performance over the same period, and those returns were uncorrelated to the wider market in line with their objective. Basically, there are several tools to prevent an absolute return strategy from moving in step with an other fund. One is to the implementation of several independent strategies because it can limit the impact of the leveraging and reduce the volatility of the overall portfolio. Another one is mixing quantitative and qualitative methods that could help you adapt the market environment and also differentiate your portfolio from most of the absolute return industry. We implement two complementary strategies, index rebalancing and relative value. We have used quantitative detection to have a global view and follow multiple markets. And then we analyze each opportunities to understand its risk and so find a suitable edge for the position. Basically, this is those small differences between fund managers that separate the good from the bad absolute return fund on the long run. After all, Every fund makes its own track.